crazy thing happened. I took like 10 minutes to go and um, pump because I'm still breastfeeding my baby. And I had put her in her walker for a minute and my 10 year old was in the room and I was like, hey, you know, she's just gonna play in her walker for a minute. Mom's gonna be in the other room. Uh, if you need anything, just come get me, just let her play. If she needs something, just give her her bottle. And the next thing I know, like three or four minutes later, my 10 year old is screaming and running down the hall, holding the baby upside down. And I'm like, what's going on? Like I keep my door open just in case something happens so I can see her coming to me. And like there's white stuff on the baby's face. And it turned out that she had given her um, this ball to play with um, and she'd taken her out of the walker and put her down on the floor. And when she wasn't looking, the baby bit through the ball and everything inside of it went all over her face. Like it just kind of exploded onto her. And so like this whole side of her face and her mouth and her nose was all covered in what looked like a white foam. And I had bought these balls as like stocking stuffers for the children thinking that that'd be something fun, like a stress ball. And I kept putting them up, like up high where the little kids couldn't get to them without asking and the baby wouldn't be able to get to them because I knew there was the possibility that they could puncture. But I didn't really explain, I guess, as well as I thought I did to the 10 year old that she shouldn't give it to the baby. And we ended up cleaning her off. Um, I looked it up online. It says that it's non-toxic, so she was okay. Um, but I just want to warn everybody that, you know, these things are, I mean, they're so easy to bust. And it was just terrifying. My heart stopped. I was like, I, my daughter, huh, she was holding her upside down because she didn't want her to swallow the foam. She thought that if she held her, and she was holding her safely, but she was, it scared me pretty bad and it scared her. It scared her. She was holding her upside down because she thought that she wouldn't be able to swallow that way. And then when I got her from her, I took her immediately to the bathroom and we cleaned her and washed her up. And it didn't look like anything got in her mouth. Um, but we still kept a close eye on her and we just, you know, looked everything up as best we could to make sure it wasn't toxic because there are some out there that are. Um, this is the, the ball. Well, this isn't the ball. This is one of the four that we bought. They're the Nido. I'm not sure if you can see that. Nido. N-E-E-D-O-H. And you can see this one has already started to um, come out. It's already gotten a little puncture in it. And they're all going to be thrown away after what happened with the baby. But I just wanted to save them for the video so you could see what I was talking about. But this is it. I mean, it's a stress ball. And they're, they're a lot of fun to play with. You can squeeze it and, you know, all the different things. You can see, though, the white foam inside of it. But... It was so easy. It took her less than a minute to pop it and it just got all over her and it was terrifying. And I don't want other moms to go through that experience. It's a fun stocking stuffer, but I will never be buying these again. I'm throwing them away. Um, so just want to let other moms out there know.